Hi! In this video, we will show a step-by-step -step installation of the Invisifen system. We will use the following equipment during installation. These items are part of the Invisifen system. Processing units, which continuously analyze the sensor's data in order to detect and classify intrusions. Hub unit, which controls up to one kilometer section of Invisifen system. Relay card, which outputs alarms to third-party system. You can also get TCP and IP protocol output and connect Invisifence to VMS or a command and control software. Maintenance chamber, which are used to store the processing units after the installation. And of course, also sensor strings and communication cables. The steps to install Invisifence system are 1. Digging a trench along the system installation route. Two, measuring and marking sensors and maintenance chamber locations. Three, placing the maintenance chambers. Four, installing sensor strings inside the trench. Five, placing the processing units and connecting the cable to the maintenance chamber. Six, installing communication cable to the next maintenance chamber. Repeat steps one to six until you reach one kilometer or complete covering the perimeter. After installing and connecting all parts, we need to test the system operation and cover the trench. In case the perimeter is larger than one kilometer, install another hub and repeat the above steps again. Okay, let's get started. First, we dig a trench for system installation. Then, we determine the location of the first sensor, which is usually 3.3 meters from the beginning of protection line. After we mark the first sensor's location, we can also determine the location of the maintenance chamber and install it. Next, we spread and install the sensor's cables inside the trench. Make sure that the sensors are firmly attached to the ground in an upright position. We can now spread the communication cable that connects to the next processing unit. Remember to leave a spare of about one meter of sensors and communication cables in order to connect them to the maintenance chamber. This way, if in the future you'll need to take out the processing unit during maintenance, you'll be able to do so without disconnecting the cables. Lastly, we connect all communication and sensors cables to the processing units and then test the system.
After installing and connecting all parts, we can now test system operation. Walk above each zone to verify detection on all zones before covering the trench. After completing the test successfully, it's time to cover the trench with soil. Remember to document and store the maintenance chamber's GPS coordinates for future maintenance. After a few days, the soil will settle and the area will return to its natural state. By then, the system will be completely invisible. We hope that the video helped you to understand the installation process. We are always available for any further questions and support.